what's up with the squad back with another video had to check this video out make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button y'all seeing the title was going down let's get a video here's ivanka trump with no comment this is the new york court case on the uh, trump exaggerating his property values trump hits new york ag for smirking all day long amid fraud trial welcome to doug in exile i'm doug tenaple this is where the happy people are let's look at leticia james who's a little too happy in the court ivanka trump was cordial she was disciplined she was controlled and you're controlled by george mm. soros she clearly was involved um, in negotiating and securing loans favorable loans um, for the benefit of the trump organization she what i don't know like the energy that i'm getting like from her um the energy i'm getting from her is like i don't know like it's just like this like i don't care nonchalant um and this is my first time even hearing her, you know, speak, uh, honestly. Um, I just hear a lot about, you know, this individual and what she did. But I don't know. It's just the energy she giving off. Like, she don't, not much of what she's talking about. Like, she, like, scared a little bit. Not, I don't know. It's off. Energy's off. Shh. Former President Trump lashed out at New York Attorney General Letitia James on Tuesday for smirking all day long from across the courtroom as his legal team mounts its defense in the civil fraud case targeting his business empire. <clears throat> Quote, you have a Trump-hating Attorney General who's seeking hundreds of millions of dollars in damages when not a single penny was lost by these banks. And that's part of this unconstitutional law, unquote, he said, adding, you can see from the reaction of Attorney General James every morning from that seat that she is enjoying this, enjoying it a bit too much. And then here's Don Jr. came out of the court case this morning. A, sort of a boring cross exam. I thought they were going to go somewhere, but I think they understand that they have uh, nothing as it relates to a case other than I guess an overzealous attorney general who would destroy all of New York business by going after transactions where there are no victims. See, if you held mm. this precedent against other New York businesses, New York would go bankrupt. Uh, but you guys have got to think about the precedent that this case sets. If an attorney general can years later, after all parties of transactions are paid back in full with interest, making hundreds of millions of dollars where they have no complaint, where they said they wouldn't have done anything differently, where every witness as it relates to my brother and i every witness that the attorney general has called have said that my brother and i were not involved in the statement of financial condition pretty much eric trump and donald trump jr and ivanka trump have said they were not involved in the case they looked at it all only leticia james has come out and made a public statement that ivanka must be involved and she's not these people have accountants that do all this you know, if you don't perhaps donate wow. to Letitia James' re-election campaign, I too will go after your billion-dollar transactions. He's got his dad's sense of humor. I think I'm he done, does. actually. I don't, you know, I, they, <laughs> he does, because I just heard this. They had the opportunity to cross-examine me, a rather mean-spirited attempt to try to do something, but they didn't get into any details in the cross, because they've been able to play this out in, a, in the press. You know, Donald Trump Jr. doesn't know anything about the finances of the company, according to... No, they asked me specifically about the statement of financial condition, one document of billions. And like I said, every witness that they have said has under oath said that Eric, myself, we had nothing to do with the document. No, nothing. Again, this is about the attorney general going after and prosecuting their political enemies. And if you don't believe that, just listen to what she said before she was ever attorney general. Right. We're going to go after Trump. We're going to get it. It's true. We showed those videos already of her saying, I'm going to get Trump, and now she's getting Trump. And now it's backfiring. I hope That's it's okay for us to say now, she's just in this to get Trump. Here's more. An uphill battle faces Trump's lawyers as they take their turn making a case. Judge Arthur Engeron found the Trump Organization and its executives liable for fraud before the trial even began. So what's the trial? The prosecution rested last Wednesday Here's Alina Haba from then. And it is very clear that they have failed to prove the essential elements of the case. Unfortunately for Ms. James and the Attorney General, we have spent three years doing this based on testimony from Michael Cohen, 
who walked into that courtroom and under oath in open court admitted that he perjured himself. So this is how the whole case started was based on Michael Cohen who flipped on Trump. He was the hatchet man, the fix it man, but he's tainted, he's a tainted witness. So that's this whole thing is hinging on one of the world's most famous liars. They relied on Michael Cohen. I don't care what side of the fence you are in politics. You can't rely on Michael Cohen. Then I think they need to look at how much money was spent and expose how much money was wasted by New York on a fake, phony case that's about political, uh, basically ammunition for Letitia James. This is about Letitia James's political career and their desire to politically persecute Trump, to tie him up in court, and just to disrupt him. And it's not going to work, guys. This is the weakest Honestly, case. it's you not. Know, he doesn't face a prison time on this one either. So that's a refreshing change. It's just it's just more stuff that's honestly just trying to slow him down, to be honest with y'all. Like, it's, and y'all know, it's stuff that's just trying to slow him down. Um, honestly, I didn't know anything about Trump or anything like that, even when I was like, well, I started doing these reactions, uh, you know, I have to choose my words wisely, but um, with it being on YouTube, but um, five months ago and before then, I knew I, I didn't really know much about, you know, these things. And I didn't I don't really want to say I didn't like Trump. I didn't really know much about him, um, but I absolutely love Trump now. Uh, I absolutely love him. Uh, and one thing about it is the simple fact of a lot of people is trying to stop him and they think this is going to stop him and wait the mindset that he has the drive that he has and you know uh every just everything about him you know you, you have this you have this whole team whole administration way too strong way too strong and i i doubt to see uh him get torn apart about it definitely make sure you hit the like button subscribe definitely appreciate everybody tuning in watching these guys definitely apologize you know for these late uploads uh you know got the girls y'all know we got a newborn and a two-year-old so um Things can get a little challenging, but I do apologize. Definitely much love to y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Please share the video. You already know what's going down. Catch y'all next one.